Shorts make the fighter, but man, those basketball shorts. No doubt. So here we go. Touch of gloves. Corey Green, very nonchalant. Yeah. Unorthodox position, just looking to dot LaFord. Swing and a miss. Well, LaFord doing a good job of slipping under that. Going to get himself in trouble here. Mm. Corey trying to show some strength. Gets dropped on his head, though. You know, LaFord a little tentative the whole time. He looked like he had control of that clinch from the beginning. You got to be careful. He's going to get himself caught in a guillotine here. I can see his eyes. He was just checking out his corner, so he is aware of where he's at. But, yeah, Green trying to lock something in tight under my man. Well, doing a good job now trying to set it standing. Uh, you know, yeah. coming, out of, coming out of ultimate judo, you know, he should have a better defense for this than to try to hook that leg. Now finally reaching in. You, Joey, what you need to do is you need to reach in, take a high crotch, just like he's trying to do there. He keeps getting stymied on it, but that takes the pressure off. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, LaFord trying to think of anything that he can do. Oh, and it's looking like Green's locking it in tight. I'm surprised to see LaFord hanging in there. Well, you know, he keeps driving his head up just a little bit, and that gives him a little space and gets a hold of the wrist now. He's breathing. Now finally coming into a clean clean position here. Got to watch he doesn't give that up again. He's nice and low. Joey needs to start attacking that leg. There it is. There's the lift. Didn't quite clear it. Still trying is uh, LaFord here to break free from this odd lock that Mr. Green has. Well, you know, LaFord there passing into full guard. He should have went into, or into full mount. He should have went into side control. Again, doing a good job of keeping the pressure off his neck now. Got to be careful he doesn't get rolled. So far, we're watching a grappling match. Not much in the way of strikes. Yeah, most definitely. Both of these boys hesitant to throw punches this evening. Jula Ford now looking like he's trying to slide past into an arm triangle, and he's got some space for it. He cleaned his hips to the side. Needs to keep walking into that to bring that elbow back down as that elbow of Corey Green's makes its way across his ear. That takes the pressure off the neck. And you can hear you can hear the corner there telling him turn into him. And listening to his corner is Corey Green, and he comes out with back control. Wow. Great call. Corey Green controlling this fight right now. And LaFord is definitely in bad shape. Well, he ate some big shots there, some of those off the back of the head. You could hear referee Tyrone Gooden telling Corey Green, watch the back of the head. Ten seconds, we're going to round two in what has been a pretty much lackluster round here except for the last 30 seconds. Yes, indeed. And look at LaFord standing up, uh, showing no signs of fatigue thus far. And uh, heading back to his corner for a good word. He's got Drew Murray in there, and uh, we'll see what they're capable of on this end. You know, when a guy reaches around your neck like that, standing up, you got to make him pay. you got to take the high crotch, or, you know, there's a whole series of, of judo uh, escape techniques for that that absolutely put you in a dominant position. What you can't do is stand there neutral and let the guy crank on your neck, because eventually that's going to slip in. Tell you what, incredible stamina displayed. I could not hang in there like that, man. Like you said, you got to do anything. I'm sure your body goes into a state Mickey of Redman would say this is no place for a nervous person. Round two underway. W. UXC bringing you all the action. Yes, look at Corey Green with his hands down in a stone cold sort of position. Well, he ate a couple for his trouble. Drew LaFord punching his way in. Doing a good job now of making sure he doesn't get caught in the in that beginnings of that guillotine, but gotta watch he doesn't get orbited on here. That underhook hit. Yeah, here we go again. Yes, indeed. We're taking a look at Green on the back of the cage here. LaFord pushing through. I, I don't know what he's trying to prove in that, but uh, I, I'm seeing Green relaxed on the opposite end. Well, you know, both of these guys look a little out of their element on the cage side there, and I, I would have to uh, 
I'd have to wonder how much time they spent training and pushed against the cage side. You can tell a lot of gyms, I mean, cages are expensive. And uh, as this sport starts to spread, more and more gyms are getting them. But some, some places, you just don't have that cage. And so it's really tough to duplicate some training scenarios. That, that's so true. You know, I didn't even uh, register to think that. I was just in the 3D gym last weekend. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's a small place, but they got the treadmill in there. They got the mats rolled out. They got the jams pumping. And uh, I'll tell you what, th that is an advantage, people that get to use the cage in training. Well, you see in a lot of schools, uh, you know, they're just putting up two sides. That's really all you need. You know, they're, they're putting up two sides so at least the guys can get some practice on it because going up uh, using a padded wall to try to simulate it, it's better than nothing. But the cage, the cage sort of gives when you put your hips on it. And that's a whole different sim sensation there. So true that you say that. Uh, we actually had one of these fighters, uh, trainer, step into the cage earlier today and wonder about how far the cage walls go back. He's like, yeah, how much dip is in that thing? Well, Drew LaFord, again, getting himself in that bad position. Armin Guillotine, it's hard to get all the pressure on. You know, he's, uh, he's like the little train that could, though. He just keeps pulling at it. But this fight right now, getting a little bit boring for this Taylor crowd. Absolutely. You know, LaFord really needs to reconsider. Try to move something, like you said, high crotch if you got to. He had a half slam earlier, but uh, he's fatigued here. We're looking at Green laying it on thick to my man. I'm surprised LaFord's even in this thing. Well, you know, Green uh, with that arm in on the guillotine, just not a lot of pressure you can bring to bear there. So it looks a lot worse than it is. If that arm weren't in, if, if uh, Drew LaFord didn't, you know, if that arm were across the front there, Drew LaFord would be in a lot worse shape. That's good. So he's hanging in there. We, we got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds, and these judges have got to earn their keep these first two rounds because there was really nothing going on with which to make a decision. No, absolutely. You know, it would be a tough call for me. It would be a tough call for me. I mean, I'd say tattoos, as you said, the award would be him. Some prison tats on that. <laughs> no, I didn't go there, Joey. <laughs> You get a shiv in the parking lot for comments <laughs> like that. Well, both of these guys need to finish this fight here before the bell. Yeah, without a doubt, I agree. Seen a laugh from Green. LaFord still focused in this game here. Oh, one time. Absolutely dropped him somehow. Corey Green holding on. That may be enough to steal this fight if the rest of the fight goes the way the, the, the first part of it did. You know, that truly took my breath away. Uh, it's good to see LaFord put it on the button. Green's had his hands down the whole fight. Well, he was talking big junk, too. And Drew LaFord said, yeah, I got your answer right here and dropped a shot that absolutely put Corey Green to the canvas. Somehow still able to hold on. No question. So Green still looking dazed and confused. Oh, look at the armbar transition. Not enough room. I don't know. What, that's just weird. Yeah. We've I mean, seen that's forcing it through. Trying to turn belly down on it now, but uh, he's losing this here. He needs to get back on his back and pull guard because that arm's going to come out and he's going to be in trouble. For a second, I thought he was looking for a Peruvian necktie. I mean, he had it all day. And now taking that strong position and getting himself completely jammed up is Drew LaFord. And that is just cage inexperience. Yes, indeed. Mr. Green slowly creeping around on LaFord and uh, gaining control of this matchup here. And LaFord's got a question where he's at. You know, he comes out with a big swing. And uh, Green right back on top with a little ground and pound. Well, LaFord needs a gut check right now. He can stand this fight back up if he just sells out and goes goes for it. Now if he just sits out hard and runs around the corner there, he'll finish the single leg. That's got to be driving Drew Murray nuts, seeing that right there and not being able to play puppeteer and finish that single leg transition for him. So true. So true. I can hear him scream from over here, man. He's going to be feeling it tomorrow, but that's good. He's rooting. He's rooting for Mr. LaFord. He's got good heart. He's been training him since day one. Well, LaFord got himself in trouble again. Playing with the neck with the ill intent is Corey Green looking to work a choke here. Needs to just transition for back control. There's nothing stopping him if he circles to his right. 
Now Drew LaFord listening to the commentary on his iPod. Oh, what was that? Somehow LaFord snuck out and looked like he connected with a couple on Green. And Corey Green just absolutely sitting there. Ten seconds, we're going to the cards. Drew LaFord may have stole this fight in the third round. I'd oh, big so. knee up the center. Oh, I'd oh. say so. Corey Green just trying to run for the hills and finish this uh, finish this round on his feet. Let the clock save him. Wow. Mr. Uh, Green taking a beating there. I'll That's tell it. you what, somebody pushed play on LaFord and he woke up. Yeah. I know. <laughs> After three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards for a split decision. Judge number one has the contest 29-28 for LaFord. Judge number two has the contest 29-28 for Green. And judge number three has the contest 29-28 for your winner by split decision, Tony at the thing. 